The Flames are not in limbo. Being in limbo means you don't have a measure of control over your actions. The Flames fully have control over their actions. And with four games until the trade deadline, the Flames can look at these four games as an indicator to can they make a push into the playoffs or are they going to really fall out of it? That is a good place to be for the Calgary Flames. They're not 30 points out of the playoffs where they're clearly looking at selling. They've made decisions in trading Nikita Zadorov and Elias Lindholm where they got good returns, where they felt that that was necessary for their team to move forward. They sit with Noah Hannafin and Chris Tanev, the two most coveted players that are pending unrestricted free agents. But here's where it gets interesting for the Calgary Flames. They're a much better team with those two players. And for Craig Conroy, it's about getting what you feel is commensurate value for those players who are in high demand. Not just getting something. That is not the argument. We gotta get something for these two players. No, you don't. You have to get what you want and what you think is value. Because even if you don't trade them and you're in a push for the playoffs, that's value to your team. You're getting something for your young players. You're sending a message that, hey, this is something that we take seriously and we're gonna push. Just getting something that isn't a value does not help the Calgary Flames. We know that they're not a Stanley Cup contender, or certainly don't appear to be like one, but moving forward, trying to understand what you need to do with, with a group of players and some really good young players, that's where the Flames find themselves. And if you don't get what you want, don't trade them. Push down the, the line, see what you can do down the stretch, and help the other players be in meaningful games. That, to me, is a real option. And that doesn't leave the Flames in limbo, that leaves them in control.